Hey guys, I'm here for another Tulsa Welding School review for uh, Phase 8, Week week 2. There we go. We did the, <coughs> the 5G position, 2-inch uh, pipe, 5G, or the 5G weld with the stainless steel TIG. Ah. Uh, wasn't that bad. I, I really thought this phase would be a lot more pain in the ass than I thought it was going to be. I was really scared of that uh, 530 second gap with the 330 second filler, using the filler wire. Hasn't been that bad. So, that's, I'm happy. I think I got, I got an 88 on it, which is a little bit lower than what I wanted, but 88 is still pretty good. So I'm not too upset by it, really. Uh... Um, yeah, really, the, class, the teacher I have this time, he, uh, he's pretty good in the classroom, he talks a lot, shows us, just doesn't, which is nice because most of the teachers just don't care about the classroom day, they just kind of sit there and let you do whatever, you watch a video, and they don't teach you nothing. This teacher's been pretty good this phase. Uh, one thing I did realize, I, I found out this phase is, I signed up for the AOS program, do the CBI and everything. And I finally did all the paperwork this week and everything. But what I found out ugh, was that you take the AOS program, you get your, you know, you go in there, do your CWI and whatever, your certified welder inspector. They don't certify you to be a certified welding inspector. Not only that, but if you, you have to have at least three years of welding experience to become a CWI. So if you take the course, and you still need three years of welding experience where you can actually take the test. So you're going to have to remember all that info that they gave you, that you learned while you're there. You're going to have to remember all that when you go take that test in three freaking years from that point. That was a little, that's, that's a little disappointing. I, I just wanted to take the test right afterwards. I wouldn't have to remember all this crap for three goddamn years. But... So we're gonna do it, just because I'm here. I'm never planning on coming back. That's my plan. I just want to let you guys know that you guys will, you guys can't take the CDBI test. It's whatever. But they do give you an associate's degree, and if you don't have an associate's degree, you have to wait five years. You have to have five years of welding experience to take the CWI test if you don't have an associate's degree. So, I mean, I guess that's a plus, you know? I mean, definitely worse things. So, that's, I'm happy about that part at least. Um, nothing really else is new has happened this week. I mean, like I said, the teacher's been a lot better this week about classroom and stuff and the world hasn't been as bad as I thought it was gonna be this one yeah I don't even know if I, oh, I'll show it to you this one over here this is from my last phase for the 2g test this is my actual test pipe but you can kind of see I mean I was in, I was in, I was in, this was my test piece so it's not perfect perfect but Came out pretty good. I don't know if you can see the inside very well. Let's see here. Two. Yeah, not really. Yeah, but that's my 2G. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Anyways, you guys have any questions or anything? Like, subscribe, leave a comment below, and I'll try to do my best to answer them. Thank you.